welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about the taylor's tool life equations generally that will be used to predict a tool life for the manufacturing processes or you can say production processes so generally such kind of theories as well as the examples is being asked into the cat examinations so let us start with the theory of the tool life equations so in that case tool life is one kind of time period indicating between two consecutive resharpening is required with which the tool cuts the materials effectively or you can say satisfactorily so that will be indicating as a time for the satisfactorily work by the tooling materials so generally tool life is an important factor in a production work since the considerable time is lost whenever a tool is resharpened and you can say that reset onto the machine tool life is actually machining time by which a fresh cutting tool satisfactorily works after which it needs reconditioning or replacement of the materials or you can say tools so there are so many things it will be used as a tool life so tool life is based upon the criteria of the volume of the material removed is derived as follows so let us see the volume of the material removed per minute so that will be pi d t f n that will be mm cube per minute so finally pi d t f n into time so that will be t indicating as a time so that will be only the volume of the material removed per minute so d you can say that diameter of the workpiece in terms of mm small t depth of the cut we are using to performing an operations f indicating as a feed that will be mm per revolution capital n revolution of the workpiece in terms of revolution per minute or you can say rpm and capital t that will be indicating as a time for the tool failure in terms of minutes so for that the cutting speeds so here it will be the pi dn by 60 meter per second so pi dn divided by 1000 mm per minute so in that case pi dn equal to 1000 into cutting speed so to life or you can say volume of the material is being removed so in that case 1000 into v dot t dot f dot t meter cube so finally what you get the cutting speed is the most important parameter which influencing the tool wear and hence the tool life so tool wear is directly proportional to the tool life and tool life is we already discussed that will be the time duration of a satisfactorily work by the tools so in that case just you can see over here here in that case effect of a cutting speed on a wear line so on your x-axis that will be indicating as a cutting time in terms of minutes and y-axis wear line in terms of mm so just you can concentrate for the different cutting speed of v1 v2 and v3 so here v1 is greater than v2 than greater than v3 so for that if we are increasing the speed so that should be reducing the cutting time if we are reducing the cutting speed so that will be also increasing the cutting time so that will be having a relations if we are increasing the speed so you can reducing the time but that will be also affect onto the tool life so let us see on to the different diagrams now that will be the tool life in terms of minute with the cutting speed so just you can concentrate over here the x-axis that will be representing as a tool life in terms of minutes and y-axis that will be the cutting velocity or you can say speed so in that case what happened v1 v2 v3 v4 and y so five so five different speed and you can take the readings how much time is required 
if we are taking a v1 that will be the less amount of speed is being used so that will be having a good tool life if it will be the v2 so that will be reducing if we are increasing up to the v5 so just you can see life of the tool that will be t1 to t5 so that will be shorter life so in that diagram we can easily see that or conclude that by the increasing of the cutting speed that will be reducing the tool life now one more so log plot of the cutting speed with the tool life so by the application of the tool life equations so the result relationship is a straight line expressed in an equation from called as a taylor's tool life equation so vt raised to n that should be equal to constant so v is nothing but the cutting speed meter per minute capital t tool life in terms of minutes small n that will be the tool life index and c that will be the machining index so generally that machining index it will be depends upon the which kind of material is being used so modified version of the taylor's tool life equations vt raised to n dot f raised to n1 dot d raised to n2 that should be equal to c so generally this will be in terms of speed feed and depth of cut so f means feed rate mm per revolutions d means depth of cut in terms of mm now different factors affecting the tool life so most responsible parameter that will be the cutting speed we already discussed if you are increasing the speed that definitely reducing the life of the tool then the cutting temperatures if you are increasing the speed if you are increasing the depth of cut so that will be also increasing the friction between tip of the tool and the workpiece so that will be also increasing the temperature at the interface of the tool and workpiece so that will be also the responsible parameters feed and depth of cut tool geometry if you are not making a proper rack angles back rack angles and side rack angles onto the single point cutting tools so generally that will be affect the life of the tools tool materials so there are different kind of materials are available for the toolings like tungsten high speed steel carbide cemented carbides some coated carbides inserts so you can control the life of the tool workpiece materials so generally that will be depends upon the selection criteria according to my requirements nature and the cutting so which kind of nature of the materials which kind of environment conditions or can say which kind of cutting conditions that will be affected to life rigidity of the machine and the work so if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you very much